Today on We Need to Talk, we have part two of our talk about jobs, work, and all that stuff. Because we need to talk. Do, do you think that part of the aspect of, of a failing job is kind of making yourself better? Like becoming something more? Yeah, I mean, I I think you should be trying to make yourself better in all aspects of life, not just so that would be included in that that there's no point where you can't be improving yourself and uh, i use aspects of my job to improve myself in other areas that i want to get better at like voice work i answer the phones for my job so i utilize my voice work there i utilize my improv there uh, when I'm talking with somebody and I have to answer questions I may not fully know the answer to, I have to improv. How do I answer this in a way that shows that I I value their question? I think it's a good question. I may not have the answer, um, but I can find somebody who does. How do I answer? How do I understand the question that they may really be asking uh, when somebody asks something? Sometimes they're asking a secondary question that's kind of hidden in that question. So there's a lot of aspects of from outside of my normal job that I can do that I can improve on through my job and vice versa, because my voice work, this podcast helps me at my job because I answer the phone. So everything serves each other in everything that I do. Mm. That's kind of the impression I get is it's a bit more integrated with yourself, at least it's like myself. a work ecosystem. Uh-huh. Hmm. Because it's kind of like, I guess that's kind of what you mean, where there's not like a very, there's not like a real segregation between your work and your uh, your play in some ways. And your work mm-hmm. actually kind of intersects itself with other work. It's not like two separate things. It's not like you have two separate jobs. It's kind of like, it's all one job just kind of played out. Yeah. It's all one job and it's me. Mm-hmm. I also get a sense that you're kind of gamifying uh, work a bit. What, like, I guess there's an aspect of, like, I want to improve myself a bit, but it also kind of feels like you're kind of grinding, like, levels. Like, you're like, okay, time to level up here. Yeah, for sure. I think a lot of it is, it's kind of gamifying. It's kind of just appreciating it like for what it is and allowing like not allowing myself to be disenfranchised with work or life in general uh and kind of trying to to just see that everything has a, a purpose outside of its most direct obvious purpose hmm. everything kind of everything in life interplays with each other Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, yeah, I think that is kind of gamifying to be like, when I talk on the phone, I'm improving myself in all these other areas and it's like raising my charisma stat. Like mm-hmm. that is kind of in a, in a less directly gamified way, what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like when people do speed runs and they're like, okay, so I'm going to choose this option right here because at a point later in the game that's completely unconnected to this thing, I am going to get a little stat modifier here, and this will help me beat this boss in this level. Like m- Maybe not that yeah. far-reaching, but it kind of is like that a little bit. Yeah, for sure. It's all RNG manipulation. Mm-hmm. I, I think myself, I'm very segregated in my thinking a bit. I mean, it's probably going to be less so with my current job, because uh, my current job is, I think, more manicable to my just my brain. Uh, but it, it's like, I, I tend to be very, uh, you know, have everything in the wrong places. Like I, I would really not, not be thinking about work outside of work, uh, or uh, like when I worked at the coffee shop, like I didn't want to think about coffee when I was home. Or if I did, I'd just think about like drinking coffee, not like actual work or anything like that. Or uh same thing with the bank and you know any other place like it's not something i really want to bring home and same with like kind of uh i guess stuff with the podcast like we do the podcast type stuff sometimes i'll think about topics or things we discussed but i tend not to 
think about the podcast too much outside of the podcast, if that makes any sense. Like, I have a very mm -hmm. strong segregation between, like, different things. And in a way, I'd say pod the podcast is a bit of work, too. It it's fun. I, I think it's more like the fun kind of work you want to do, something you take on. But it, it is kind of, I'm not going to say what's like a job, but it, it is kind of like a, like, you're producing something. You're, you're putting work into it or effort into it. Yeah. No, I mean, de um, it's, I, you like the, the segregation, uh, of like the compart compartmentalization of all of the things that you do. And I like the exact opposite. I like where everything is integrated together and nothing is any one thing. So it's super interesting to to do that i i don't mind thinking about i'm always thinking about work if if i if i'm sitting watching you know a football game and a commercial comes on i may be like oh wow how can we use that commercial in the roofing business to help get more customers like can we take this sandwich commercial in a way that would work for my industry or same thing with the podcast or with any of the other things with music. How can I take this thing and use it in a different way? And I think it makes a lot of the synapses. It makes like a lot of the the ideas kind of connect together in a more overarching way that ends up improving every aspect of, of what I do. Hmm. I wonder what the difference is there, because in some ways my brain works in a similar fashion because I do have this like strong interconnectivity between like different things. Like I can associate like any two topics like very easily, but for some reason there's that strong delineation between like certain like task focused areas. Like mm -hmm. I'll watch a TV show and I start thinking about how that like intersects with like evolutionary theory or physics or like just like really stupid thoughts like that. But uh, I, I, I still, very hardly ever bring it back to, huh, this makes me want to do the dishes. Or it's a bad example there, but, oh, I wonder if I can implement this at uh, my job as a coffee manager. Uh, like, mm -hmm. like I, I don't think in that way. I wonder what the difference is there or if it's just a matter of different brains. Probably just different brains. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. What should work mean to someone? Um, I mean, I'm. that's not my place to tell other people what they should or shouldn't feel about or think about anything. Mm -hmm. Good thing I have a podcast, huh? <laughs> so, so I would say that it, I think it depends on the person because I don't think that work needs to be meaningful for everybody. Uh, I think oftentimes work can be a mean to an end. I think for people who are trying to get some sort of fulfillment out of their daily job, that's great. But it's like there's some people who the point of working is to go out and party, you know, after work. You know, they, they have other things they want to do. Or, for instance, some people work because they have to take care of their kids or they, they want to take care of their kids or they want a child or that they they uh, love skydiving or maybe there's something they want to do. And that's a mean to do it. And it's a cost they're willing to pay. Uh, like I think there's plenty of instances in that in, in that kind of uh, ex example, so I, I think if people are aware of the costs or aware of what they want and how like what they're paying to get what they want, I think that's all you really need. And if if you're just aware of the costs and benefits, then th that's great. Uh, maybe where people get kind of hung up and very disenfranchised with the idea of work is where you're paying a cost, but really not getting much out of it or getting survival. Like uh, we can talk about like say rent hikes right now and just the cost of living going up. A lot of people, they're having a hard time getting their ends to meet. Uh, and because of that, work is more of a means for survival, but it's a very like abstract means of survival. So it's just very easy to not really get any value of it and just feel like they're just paying a pure cost, which in, in some ways they are, but in another, it's just harder to just see the benefit of survival or, or see the direct, I don't know, benefit of survival. 
it's I I wouldn't I can't do that mentality because that's a third of your day every day that you're only doing as a way to benefit another third of your day. So it's like paying a price and it's a huge, huge price in time and time is the resource that we're not going to get more of and we don't even know how much we have in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that seems like a very dark way to look at something is, oh, well, I'm just doing this so that later I can do something else versus being able to like see the value in the thing that you're doing now. Mm -hmm. I I personally wouldn't be able to to do that. So in a case where maybe you had a, let's say you're in a place where you didn't find value in that, would your approach there be to find value or to be just to find a place where you could find that value? Both. Both? I'm... You, I mean, the the value for me is in serving people. So I can't think of literally anything that would put me in a position where I'm not in some way serving. Mm -hmm. So it's the value is always going to be there in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to go into this tiny little bit of a rant here. Uh, it's kind of a side rant. Uh, but one thing that I kind of don't like about kind of workplace ideas is there's a, some people have this idea of like some jobs are lesser than others or some jobs are worse. And I think that's just kind of bullshit in a lot of ways because like, like people look at like fast food workers as if they're less human or maybe it's not, maybe it's going too far, but like, like that job is beneath them. And I don't think it's a matter of that. Maybe it's not a great job in some like objective aspects, but I don't, think that idea is great because that job is doing something that's very valuable like i love the fact that i can just go to like mcdonald's or wendy's or just any fast food place and get food like whenever i want and i'm very happy that people are there to give me that and you know i think they should be paid more because they're, they're providing like incredible service it's a lot of competition which is why the price kind of goes down blah 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 but i don't i don't know if it's if, if it's correct to even like see it as like a worse job or anything like that, there might be jobs that are better fits for those people, or maybe it's not a great job long term, but I don't think it's like a bad job. I just think it's a different job. Yeah. Sorry. I thought, I thought you had something to play off on there, but no, I mean, I, I agree. I don't, I think everyone, I mean, ideally I would love to have a company that I run that everyone in the company gets paid the same. Everyone shares in the profits purely. I don't see why a CEO or a marketer or a salesperson should make more, like huge amounts more than people who are doing data entry or, um, you know, cleaning or uh, doing delivery or whatever. I think it's all serving the company and all of them need to be there in order for the company to run right. So everyone should reap the benefits of the company. Mm hmm. Yeah, but I think a lot of people talk about skilled labor mm -hmm. and now there's a huge campaign going on in the counterculture to that saying that there's no such thing as skilled labor. Is, is that a thing? Yeah. Like what's the claim there? That's the claim. I mean, I mean, there is skilled. I don't know what the idea is. They're saying all, all labor is skilled labor because all you need to be good at doing what like whatever your job is takes a skill no matter what so like saying that one job is skilled labor and one job isn't is not accurate i mean it, it's kind of semantical thing though because it, it's like anybody playing football you may be playing like frisbee golf or golf is playing that thing there but there's a difference between that and doing like it professionally like it's more the amount of skill required for the performance or maybe it's the performance of that skill like at a certain level to kind of i think it's the distinction there like so maybe the claim is that there's no such thing as unskilled labor i actually i think that's the the claim i mean that's true i mean but i don't think it's that helpful of a claim because I mean, true, it takes a bit of skill to make coffee, uh, but it's it's a skill that's very easy to acquire for most people. 
now you could say that maybe that skill or let's take a better example let's say cooking like it's easy to like learn how to bake a pie or make some chicken and stuff like that that's an easy skill to learn but it's very very hard to master like top chefs are on a whole different level than say just an average cook like myself or mm -hmm. a, a less than average cook let's say so i don't know i i, I don't think it is a helpful distinction because what does it even mean like should we not distinguish like a, a chef from like a like like me i, I don't think so well th the distinctions being made in the um argument against like minimum like paying people below poverty rations like paying somebody five dollars an hour to do a thing and saying, well, that's it's unskilled labor, so they shouldn't make money. No. That's kind of where the argument is coming in and saying what even is like the fact we even need minimum wage is gross. Mm -hmm. Okay. So So if you had a dream job, what would be your dream job? I got it. Right now? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, I hope that didn't come across as sarcastic. I, I was trying. Try, no. Okay, good, good. I was trying not to peek the mic, but then I'm like, that sounds like a golf clap or something. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, if I had a dream job, I think I would do. I don't know what I'd do actually. I don't think I would have an idea of a dream job. Like, uh, I like what I'm doing right now, but you know that might change at some point in the future. Uh, I think ideally something where I'm on the precipice and kind of really using my brain would be the most ideal because that's kind of when I feel like most myself. Uh, though, honestly, when I feel most myself is when like I'm going down a mountain and it's like uh, I'm kind of like hopping on the rocks, rock to rock to rock, and I'm like kind of just in a tiny bit of danger right there. And it's just kind of like fun. Like that's when I feel most myself. And it's kind of strange because you wouldn't quite expect that to be honest. But, it, you know, it, it's like... If people are like, oh, just do what you feel like you're meant for. It's like, that's what I feel like I'm meant for. So that's why I don't think that's valid advice. That That's my point here. Why not? Why can't you do that? That sounds like uh, you could be somebody who saves people when they're stuck on mountains. You could be a ranger. That, that's a lot of work. I mean, I'm just in it for the rock hopping. Well, that's what you feel like you're meant. That's what you feel like you're meant to do. Rock hopping, yes. Saving people, I don't know. It seems like a lot, a lot of responsibility. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty fucked up. That's pretty fucked up, bro. <laughs> this is why you don't have your dream job. Oh, damn. Well, because you think your dream job is too much work. These are hard shoes right there. Well, Oof. meter, we need to talk. I, I was trying to say something just like outlandish to like oh. <laughs> end it, and then it just kind of got weird. <laughs> well, it's hard to distinguish between your normal outlandish and your end the episode outlandish. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, uh, this 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 sounds like we're going to a different topic. That's not that, that we shouldn't be doing this. Well, well, you had asked for a, a question of, on a completely different topic. I answered it, and then you you were answering it, so I had no idea that was the <laughs> outro. I'm like, oh, okay. 